involute of a square. In this video, we will learn how to draw an involute of a square. Let's understand what is involute of a square means. Suppose there is a square shape that is wound with a rope whose length is equal to the parameter of the square. When we unwound the rope, the path taken by the endpoint of the rope while unwounding is known as the involute. Here are the instructions. Draw an involute of a square whose side length is 25 millimeters. Also, draw a normal and a tangent at any point on the involute. First, we will have to draw a square whose length is 25 millimeters. Take a ruler and draw a horizontal line of 25 millimeters in length. Mark these endpoints as A and B. Take a protractor and keep it at these points and mark a point at 90 degrees. After this, using these points as a reference, draw a square. Label these points as C and D. We will consider the endpoint of the rope to be here and label this point as P. After this, we need to draw a line whose length should be equal to the perimeter of the square. The perimeter of the square is equal to 25 millimeters multiplied by the number of sides, which is 4, which equals 100 millimeters. Draw a line of 100 millimeters and label this endpoint as P dash. After this, take a compass and adjust it to length AB and cut arcs on this horizontal line. Label these points as 1, 2, 3, and 4. After this, we have to extend the lines from these points. Initially, the endpoint of the string is here. When we unwound and it reaches this line, the point P will be here. When we unwound it further, point P will be here. If we further unwound the point P will be here. And at the end, it will reach here on this horizontal line. This is the required involute. We can see the length between points A and P1 dash is equal to the length between points 3 and 4. The length between points D and P2 dash is equal to the length between points 2 and 4. The length between points C and P1 dash is equal to the length between points 1 and 4. To get this involute, we can mark these lengths on these lines and draw a smooth curve. Or, another simple way is this. Take a compass and adjust it to length between points AB, and using point A, as a center draw an arc from point B to this line. Label this point as P1 dash. Next, adjust it to length between points D and P1 dash, and using point D as a center, draw an arc from point P1 dash to this line. Label this point as P2 dash. Next, adjust it to length between points C and P2 dash, and using point C as a center, draw an arc from point P2 dash to this line. Label this point as P3 dash. At last, adjust the compass to the length between points B and P3 dash, and using point B as a center draw an arc from P3 dash up to this horizontal line. This is the required involute of a square. After this, we need to draw a tangent and a normal at any point on this curve. Suppose we want to draw a tangent and a normal at this point. Take a ruler, and using this point as a reference, draw a line up to point C. This line will be normal at this point. After this, draw a perpendicular line to this line, which will be a tangent to this curve. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to draw an involute of a square. If you like my video click on the like button, and if you enjoy learning from me, share my videos with your friends, so that I can continue providing such videos for you in the future.